Hello and welcome to the course Plaxis 3D Pile Draft Foundation Analysis. I'm Dr. Nichir Vantar and in this course we'll explore how to model, analyze and interpret the performance of Pile Draft Foundation using Plaxis 3D. So uh, whether you are a geotechnical engineer, researcher or a civil engineering or geotechnical engineering student, this course will guide you step by step from uh, theory to advanced 3D simulation of pile draft foundation using Plaxis uh, 3D. So let's get started and bring your foundation analysis skills to the next level. So before we start modeling the pile draft foundation using Plaxis uh, 3D, uh, in the first lecture, we will uh, shortly talk about the raft foundation, pile draft uh, foundation, the combination of pile draft foundation, also the cases or situations where, where we need to use a pile foundation and also the load transfer mechanism of pile draft uh, foundation. So as we know, uh, the raft or a mat foundation is a concrete slab which uh, supports a number of columns or walls so uh, this uh, concrete slab or raft foundation uh, distribute the loads which is come from the superstructure over a large area and it helps decrease the differential uh, settlement and this type of uh, foundation is uh, common when the soil bearing capacity uh, is low or or uh, the column loads are uh, heavy it means when uh, the high load high superstructure load is expected so there are some situations or conditions where the pile foundations uh, are necessary uh, for example when we don't have a strong soil layer at shallow depth so we need to uh, use a pile foundation to transfer the superstructural load to a more stable or a more stronger soil layer like a rock and in uh, some situation maybe we cannot find a high or a stronger soil layer at a reasonable depth so in this case we use a pile we use a friction piles it's called a friction piles because most of the pile resistance uh, drift from the skin friction resistance also in uh, situations when uh, there are a high rise buildings when it's subjected to a high lateral load like earthquake or wind loads so in this case uh, the raft foundation only cannot uh, resist uh, this uh, kind of uh, uh, lateral load so uh, we need to use a pile foundation also in uh, some situation we when uh, we encounter a swelling soil or expansive uh, soil so uh, we need to use a pile foundation to transfer the load to more uh, stable soil layer also in a uh, situation sometimes we use a pile foundation to resist uh, the uplift uh, load also in a uh, situation when we have a breaches in the river so uh, due to the erosion of the soil we need to use a pile uh, foundation so uh, this figure also illustrate the load transfer mechanism of a pile draft foundation uh, generally the pile foundation uh, resist in uh, two uh, method uh, at uh, we have end point or end bearing capacity uh, which is uh, comes from the bottom of the pile foundation also we have the frictional uh, resistance uh, which is the, uh, the frictional force between the a pile foundation and the surrounding soil also the mud foundation uh, resists a portion of uh, the load and also the mud foundation uh, provides additional uh, support and uh, stiffness to the foundation and it uh, reduces uh, the differential uh, settlement so uh, along this course we will use a uh, plaxis uh, 3d version 2024 
6.2 and uh, we will use uh, this uh, version for your uh, information and uh, uh, so we uh, the problem or the soil stratigraphy will be uh, like this one we have two soil layer and uh, the uh, first layer is a medium dense uh, sand and uh, it is a uh, 15 meter also we have a medium hard uh, rock which is uh, 45 meters in depth and uh, the soil stratigraphy will be like uh, this one we will have a mud foundation and also we will have a basement walls and also we will have a piled uh, foundation Okay, so uh, this was just an introduction uh, for this course and if you want to register in the course and get uh, the full access, uh, you can see the registration uh, link in the video description and if you want to get uh, the and if you want to get uh, enrolled with a discount, you can uh, contact us uh, via WhatsApp or email address. Uh, also, uh, in the second uh, lecture, we will uh, talk about uh, the soil, defining the soil stratigraphy using a borehole and uh, uh, we will uh, create a borehole and also in the third uh, lecture, uh, I will uh, talk about the fixities in uh, Plax's uh, 3D and how it works. Uh, in uh, lecture 4, we will uh, define the material properties for each uh, soil layer and we will assign to uh, the borehole. In the lesson uh, or in uh, the lecture 5, we will uh, uh, talk about modeling of uh, the raft foundation and uh, the walls, also uh, the piles. So as you can see, uh, this is our uh, example. We have uh, uh, the mat we have the pile draft foundation with the basement walls so the length of uh, the pile is uh, 15 meters and uh, 2 meters is extended to the uh, medium hard uh, rock also uh, this is uh, the dimension of the raft foundation uh, which is uh, 20 meters by 20 and uh, the thickness of the raft foundation is 1 meter uh, the diameter of uh, the pile is 1.5 meter and the center to center spacing between two piles is uh, 3 meter. Also in lecture uh, 6 we will define uh, the material properties for all uh, structural elements uh, like uh, walls, uh, piles and uh, also the raft uh, foundation and we will assign to uh, the structural element. And in the lecture 7, we will uh, show how to apply uh, and define the surface uh, law to the raft foundation and also we will show how to create a three-dimensional mesh for the uh, example. And uh, in uh, lecture 8, we will uh, talk about the construction phases and uh, running the calculation and we will have two, ca uh, two cases. Uh, in this ex uh, in this example in this course we will have unpiled uh, raft uh, foundation uh, and also we will have a piled raft foundation and we will uh, compare the results between these two uh, cases in the lecture 9 we will uh, talk about the results in detail uh, like uh, the settlement of the foundation and the differential settlement in two cases and also we will talk about uh, how to see the structural forces in uh, any structural element like uh, the piles, uh, walls and uh, raft uh, foundation. Also we will show how to extract uh, the results uh, from table in Plaxis and uh, export to uh, the Microsoft Excel. In the last uh, lecture, in uh, lecture 10, we will uh, talk about how to uh, generate uh, the report using Plaxis uh, 3D. So uh, this is an introduction for uh, the Plaxis uh, 3D Pile Draft Foundation Analysis course. And as I mentioned before, 
The registration link for this course will be available in the description below the video and if you want to get uh, the full access you can register from uh, the link or contact us uh, via WhatsApp or email address.